tell me a little bit about what yeah. it's like to have something uh, like this here on, on campus at, at SMU College. How this available to you? It's quite amazing. It, you can come in in the morning and like this morning I came in I did uh, Jack Lantern and it took me 45 minutes to make and it's putting on the U-Print. Yeah. Yeah. That's the only problem is uh, print time, designing, we're all pretty good at designing now, we can get pretty quick. And to be able to make something and have a prototype within a day, you can't beat that. And then that's how you get to make your minor adjustments, uh, especially with the, when they're talking about with the palette. Um, you get in a side of company and you have to make a mold that costs $100,000 and then you make that mold and you find out there's a flaw or you're out 100k on a mold. Now you get to prototype and you can design and fix everything on the fly, put it off, oh there's something wrong, go back, fix your design plan again and you're fresh. And what's it been like? Uh, speaking with students about seeing these students create their own prototypes and, and, and doing this? Um, they are so far beyond me. I can't, sometimes I can't even comment on uh, some of the stuff like he's doing here. You know, this is this is his second or third one. Um, you've seen the dedication that he used just to create some of the stuff. It's phenomenal. Um, and um, they constantly amaze me with uh, the, the glorious things they come We do nothing in here that isn't... We do nothing in here that they don't design. Mm -hmm. So everything you see around you is designed by a student. We can print up to 10 inches tall, 16 inches by 16 inches. So we can, parts are slowly getting bigger, faster, more precise. This is definitely a lot more detailed, especially the nylon. It feels a lot smoother. With the ABS plastic, it's kind of steppy if you have like an arc or a curve. Um, so just simply detail. Uh, the threaded cap I have, where it may be, it's small. So the thread has to be precise and it has to be smooth for it to work. If I did the same cap and thread on the smaller printer, it just wouldn't work.